Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on configuring the multi-page control on a user form in Microsoft Excel. So I have here an Excel worksheet and I want to populate this worksheet with first name, last name, a score, and some comments. And I have a current user form that will allow me to do that. I activate by clicking this blue rectangle. And you can see it's got a space for the first, last name, and the score, and also has another tab for comments. I also have another user form that does not. So with this user form, I'm going to show you how to convert this into one that looks more like this, that has the multi-page control on it. So these two projects were built in other videos. Uh, the first is adding data to an Excel worksheet using text box controls on a user form. And the second is titled Highlighting Empty Text Fields on an Excel User Form. So if you want to see how I constructed, for example, this form, you can certainly watch those videos, although it's not required to understand the multi-page properties I'll be demonstrating here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the code view, which is Alt F11. And you can see the main form, how this is designed. And you can see user form 1, which is the project that I want to convert over onto a multi-page control. So what a multi-page control does is allows us to create more than one page on a user form and the user can move between those pages by clicking the tabs at the top or you could put other buttons in that allow them to move uh, through the pages. So starting with a basic user form like this that has three text boxes, three labels, and a command button, I would first expand this user form to make room for the multi-page control. So over here on Toolbox, I'm going to click Multi-Page Control. I'm just going to drag a rectangle here. And you can see this is what it looks like by default. So I want you to notice the different parts here. There's the multi-page control that does have a uh, back color and four color uh, property that can be changed in the properties menu here to the left. It also has two pages that come in by default. And you cannot change the back color or for color using the properties menu on the individual pages. Uh, there is a way, a workaround, to uh, add color to these individual pages, uh, but it's beyond the scope of this video and uh, actually it's, it's quite difficult uh, compared to the small amount of value it adds to the project. So first I'm going to change the captions for page 1 and page 2. All right, so I'm going to, down, over here you can see caption page 1. I'm going to just call this uh, data. You can see it changes it right here on the uh, multi-page control. And for page 2 I'm going to change this to comments because that's what I'm adding uh, on this second page. So I want the enter button to be available outside of the multi-page control. So I'm going to move that below where the multi-page control is going to be. I'm just going to highlight all the other components on the original user form and drag them over to the multi-page control and then drag the whole multi-page control over to the left and then resize the user form. Now you might notice um, right away that the colors, uh, it retains the colors here from the user form which is a dark blue so we would need to switch this back. Um, you can highlight uh, all three, select all three at the same time and change the back color and be system uh, menu bar. Uh, similarly while you, we have all these selected you want to change the uh, four color from white which is very difficult to see on a light gray uh, to uh, black. 
You can see this label, these labels extend a little too far. So I'm just going to shorten them up so they don't interfere with the text boxes. And that looks fairly clean right there. So now on the comments page, I want to add a text box. Now I could also put a label, but since the caption is comments, uh, I'm just going to put a text box. And since it's a comments section, and uh, in theory it could contain like a narrative, I'm going to make it a little larger. Now an important step here is uh, and under the properties for this text box, you see multi-line down here. Change that to true. That's important whenever uh, you have a kind of a narrative data entry situation uh, and you want a multi-line text box. By default, it's false. So if the user started typing, it would the the uh, characters would come across the first line and just uh, go off the screen. It wouldn't actually come down to the next line. With the multi-line set to true, it will come down to the next line. Another thing to be aware of when dealing with uh, a text box that can hold a lot of data is you may want a vertical scroll bar. So if you look on the properties, you'll see scroll bars. And it has an option of none, uh, horizontal, vertical, or both. So here I'll just set this to vertical. Uh, so this will have a vertical scroll bar uh, when necessary. So before I go and add the code that we'll need, so this uh, text box will do something, right? so it'll add the data to the worksheet, I want to go over a few of the properties of the multi-page control. So I'm going to click up here, so I'm uh, selecting the, the multi-page control. Of course, it does have a back color and four color, as I mentioned. But it also has a couple other properties I want to show you one is style. So you have uh, tab style and button style, and even one where there's uh, neither tab tabs nor buttons. All right, so I'm going to leave this one as tabs. And then you have tab orientation. Now it allows you to place the tabs at the top, the bottom, the left, or the right and I can't really see many situations where it would be necessary to have anything but the top. I can see how there might be some where it would be convenient to have it on the left, kind of depending how what kind of look that you want to set up. So probably top and left would be the most popular, but you can uh, change that property here in tab orientation. In this project, the code is behind this command button uh, or, or the majority of the code is. So I'm going to double click this and you can see there's a few things we're going to need to add here uh, based on adding uh, this control and this extra text box. You can see this is named text box 4. So as you can see where in this code the data is populated into the active cell and one column to the right of the active cell and two columns to the right of the active cell. I'm going to copy this line and paste it below, being careful to change the column to the third column and the text box 3 object to text box 4. So that's one change that has to be made. And then moving down to the reset form we want to clear the value in text box 4 just like we did in text box 3. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Text box 4 value equals quotation mark, quotation mark. And there's another important step that needs to occur here. So after this is uh, this value is set back to nothing uh, in user form one and in the multi-page control is multi-page one we want the value when this form is reset to be set back to zero which is the first page 
So if we look at the if we look at this uh, multi-page form, data is zero and comments is one. So the the uh, tabs start at zero. So up here, if you right-clicked, you can add a new page, delete a page, rename, or move. So if you add a third page here, that would be two. So it starts at zero. So now that I have that code in place, I'm just going to resize this form a little. Just try to make it a little more compact. And clearly there's more improvement that could be uh, done here. For example, moving this up. You can see very flexible, easy to change the size of the user form to whatever the user may need. Before we go over to the worksheet to see how this functions, uh, since I moved these text boxes onto a new control, uh, I want to make sure I reset the tab order. So the tab order would go from first name to last name to score, and that's done through the property tab index. So you can see for the first name for text box 1, the tab index value is 5, and it is 1 for the last name, and 0 for the score, so that's not going to work. So I'm going to change the 5 to 0, and the last name, I'm going to change that to 1, and then the score, I'm going to change the tab index well, I can leave it now at a 2. Right? So you have 0, 1, and 2. So now it should tab properly through. So let's take a look at how this functions on the worksheet. So I have it set up to enter the data. I'm going to use the new form. And you can see uh, first name. Uh, I'll put in uh, first. I'll hit tab. And I'll put in last. Then score, let's say 98, and I'll move over to comments. And let's just say that this was a high score, so I'll put the comment uh, high score. And I can press enter uh, on the keyboard or click the command button here. And you can see it, it does put the data in uh, properly. And the highlighting cell feature will still work. So say I use uh, uh, say I skip the the first field and I put in uh, Smith and a score of 85 and I put a comment in uh, to say uh, say within normal limits right, the scores within normal limits and hit enter it's going to say the the form is not complete you want to continue so I'll click no and you can see it's highlighted in red here so John Smith. I'll leave the comment the same. And you can see the data will go in properly. So the multi-page user form is really a, an excellent control for building efficient user forms. You can have, I only have two tabs here, uh, but you can have uh, several tabs and they can have captions so the user knows what is in that tab and it's easy for the user to move through the tabs by clicking on uh, the actual uh, caption up here at the top uh, or you can set a control that would move it and real quickly I'll show you uh, how you could do that. It certainly wouldn't be necessary in this form uh, this is just to uh, give an example of how you could do it. If you threw a command button on here and behind this command button you had multi-page one value equals one that's all you'd have to do and then you go back and say run it if you were to click this it'll move here now clearly you can it's you know it's easy to to click these but in you know large on a large user form, uh, at the, in the last field, when a user is entering data here, it might just be quicker to click a command button that moves them to the next tab.
So easy to maneuver between them and this is a great control uh, for creating efficient user forms. I hope you found this video on configuring a multi-page control on a user form in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.